See, these are such loaded questions. It, it, it implies that capitalism will come to an end. It's, they're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. I don't believe in anarchy. I think we do need some leadership. Um, but I'd want the leadership to be uh, motivated to always be con considering the needs of the community. Um, some of the marginalized parts of our community, like whether that would be children or the elderly or disabled. Um, and uh, maybe a benevolent monarchy. Sometimes I look back at a benevolent monarch who felt a huge uh, debt to serve the, his subjects, you know. <clears throat> but uh, what we what we currently have isn't working. We've got this illusion of democracy, but they're so beholden. Running a campaign is so expensive. Running TV ads is so expensive that they end up having to constantly fundraise, and so the biggest donors have the most influence on them. Th that's who they open their door to. And uh, so after capitalism, um, you know, communism didn't work. I, I guess I'm, I'm into socialism. I, I think some industries shouldn't be for profit. I think healthcare should not be about profit. I think mass transit shouldn't be about profit. Um, Raising food shouldn't be about profit. There's just so many things that, you know, water shouldn't be profit. I mean, it should be nationalized, I guess you would say, but, but I'm not even into nation states anymore either. Uh, we've got social media has jumped over all these borders, so we've, we've got to come up with something new. I don't have the solution to what would be after capitalism, but why don't we start having meetings about it, small group meetings, and come up with some, some ideas, some models. We're, you know, we're looking to people of your generation to tell us.